Welcome to the Word for the Word broadcasts. Another day in the books. And we want to go to the Lord in prayer, asking to bless our broadcast on YouTube through the night and our Facebook Live through the night and our broadcast on Facebook twice a day. Father, bless, move, have your way, Jesus. In Jesus' name, save the sinner nearest to hell, Jesus. For it's everlasting too late, and bless your children wherever they may be found on the earth. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Revelation tonight. Last night was our last message on, I believe I preached five messages on hope in the Lord. Our hope in the Lord, if you're saved, you can say that. Tonight, I want to preach on why I want to go to heaven. Now, we could be on heaven a long time preaching about heaven. Uh, remember, well, let's get to the scripture first. Revelation. 21 verses 1 through 5 will be our text. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, paired as a bride, a door for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven. Behold, the tabernacle, tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. In the Greek, it literally means every tear, every teardrop. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things are passed away. And he who sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he turned and said unto me, Write, for these things are true and faithful. So, Many scriptures in the Bible talk about heaven. We just read a few of them. And I'm glad that's definitely better than the alternative of hell. But if you reject Christ and die in that condition, you'll go to hell forever. But thank God if you accept Christ and die in that condition, you'll go to heaven forever. It's all up to you and I, our personal choice, what we do with Jesus. Now I want to give you a few reasons tonight. Uh, 1 Corinthians 15, uh, the first three, first reason why I want to go to heaven is because I want to finally get a new body. So, <laughs> man. 1 Corinthians, and I'm going to turn over there, and you can turn there. 1 Corinthians 15, verses 50 through 54. The Word of God says... Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither does corruption inherit incorruption. Verse 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkle of an eye, at the last trump. That's talking about the rapture. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this incorruptible, for this corruptible must put on incorruption. And this immortal must put on immortality. 
So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in uh, victory. So uh, the first thing we're going to get is a new body. We get to heaven, we'll get an immortal, a glorified body from the Lord. Our, this earthly body of ours it gets sick, it gets tired, it has aches and pains. The older we get, the slower we get. <laughs> our eyes get dimmer, we start to lose our hearing, our teeth, our hair falls out. Uh, one fellow called it the five B's. Baldness, bridges, bifocals, bulges, and bungeons. <laughs> Billions are spent yearly around the world to cover up, make up, and lift up the flaws of our body. But when we get to heaven, we will have a new body. Thank God. A brand new, young, energetic, eternal body. So number one, uh, one reason I want to go to heaven is I want to get a new body. Number two, we're going to live in a mansion built by Jesus. All right, John 14. Turn your scriptures with me. John 14. Uh, verses 1 through 3. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. Jesus is coming and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Uh, so the Word of God teaches that we're going to be, each individual Christian has a mansion built by Jesus for them personally. Hallelujah. Think of all our house chores and repairs that we have to do. There won't be any of that in heaven. Won't have to vacuum. Come on, somebody. Won't have to wash and dry clothes and fold them. Make beds. No more dirty diapers and on and on and on. It will be a mansion. So number one, I want to go to heaven because I'm going to get a new body. Number two, I'm going to get a built mansion by the Lord. But number three, we're going to get to eat from God's banquet table of great food. Revelation 19.9. Turn over there with me. 19.9, the Word of God says, And he said unto me, Right blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. Wow. We're headed to the marriage supper of the Lamb. <laughs> We're going to get to, and, and by the way, my wife fixed them. Uh, every meal gets better. Tonight it was roast and all sorts of stuff. Made her first, uh, we went to Cracker Barrel the other day. Somebody blessed us with a little seed offering gift and we went to, to Cracker Barrel and she bought the uh, Cracker Barrel mix and directions recipe for their biscuits and she made them tonight and they tasted great. I love to eat just like most people love to eat. Um, look at all the restaurants we have and all the lines. and uh, People will wait for hours at a good restaurant for the good food and uh, I've been in some great places and ate some great food. I've ate some great buffets. But the mother of all buffets is going to be the Lord's buffet, the marriage supper of the Lamb. I mean, think about it. Think about it for just a minute, the marriage supper of the Lamb. Think about all that will be there at that table, the people that will be there at that table. Just think Jesus could personally hand you some of his fried chicken. <laughs> Jesus could, uh, Abraham could pass you some mashed taters. I mean, Paul could pass you some of them good old biscuits. And on and on we can go. I mean, one preacher said fried chicken breast will be as big as a trampoline. Now, that's a big chicken breast. Banana pudding, big as, as a swimming pool. A thousand pound watermelon with a zipper on the side. Amen, somebody. So number one, why I want to go to heaven tonight is I'm going to get a new body. Number two, 
I'm going to get a, a built mansion from the Lord himself, Jesus, who built it. Number three, we're going to get to eat at the marriage supper of the Lamb, the great God's uh, the banquet table of the Lord Jesus Christ. And number four, we get to see Jesus and all the great characters of the Bible and all the redeemed of the ages and all of our loved ones that got saved. I mean, think about the reunion we're going to have in heaven. We're going to get to see Jesus, Noah, Abraham, Hannah, Deborah, Isaac, Miriam, Joseph, Moses, Elijah, David, Ruth, Esther, Elijah, Job, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Zechariah, Malachi, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Paul, Timothy, Titus, James, Peter, our uh, our loved ones that were saved, we're all, what a reunion day it's going to be when we finally get to heaven. Not only that, heaven will be a place of no more tonight. If you was uh, reading the Word of God with me, in Revelation 21, Verses uh, 21, verses, uh, I read uh, 4, 1 through 6, there was a lot of no mores. Let me give you a review of them real quickly. There'll be no more pain, no more sorrow, no more tears, no more death, no more discouragement or disappointments, no more regrets, no more Satan, no more sin. No failures, no more burdens, no heartaches, no more sicknesses, no hospitals, no nursing homes, no phys uh, physical or emotional or mental pain, no more devil. My friend, I can't wait to get to heaven where there'll be no more things. Heaven will be worth it all. So that's a few reasons why I'm glad I'm going to heaven tonight. Why I want to go to heaven. All right, let's see if Brother Mark's on here. I'll give him the scriptures for tomorrow morning's broadcast. Brother Mark, Proverbs 10, verse 19. Hope you enjoyed that sermon on heaven tonight. Pastor Carter uh, sent that to me overnight last night, and we want to give him a shout-out for sharing his messages for us that he's preached to in his ministry at his church to, with, for me to preach to whoever watches my broadcast. That's uh, Proverbs, what did I say, Brother Mark? Proverbs 10. What did I say? I just threw it away. Uh, I had it wrote down. Let me see here, brother. Proverbs 10, verse 19. That's what it is. Proverbs 10, 19. All right, does anybody have a special request? Go ahead and put it in the um, comment section. You can email me at CordellClayton at Yahoo.com. You can write us at our address is 119 Terry, T-E-R-R-Y Avenue, Inman, South Carolina, 29349. That's I-N-M-A-N. Or you can private message me on Facebook. Excuse me, y'all. That's it, Brother Mark. All right. Father, bless, move, have your way. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. Make sure you share the broadcast. Thank you for everyone out there that shares the broadcast. That gives us the potential to reach new people, and new viewers for our broadcast twice a day here on Facebook and once a day on YouTube. Uh, you can find me at Clay Cordell. So until tomorrow... I got one more day of work, thank God, and it'll be over. Excuse me. So until tomorrow, God bless you. God bless America, and God bless the Jewish people.